Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Simple Sober Life. I am Joshua, and I help others make simple changes to create a life of awesome. Welcome, my friends, and happy Saturday. So today is the day I am going to put myself out there and go and meet someone um, that I've never met before. Um, I met uh, this guy online. Uh, actually, we just started talking yesterday. Uh, we kind of hit it off and I'm going to go meet him. I've got my faithful companion Luna with me. So if he's shady, then she'll know right off the bat. But um, you know, part of the simple sober life is building up relationships old and new. And in order to do that, we have to put ourselves out there. And that is what I'm doing. You know, <clears throat> for the past several years, alcohol or not, um, I have kind of been an introvert. You know, I tend to keep to myself, you know, uh, you'll usually find me at home uh, working on the computer or uh, watching Netflix or something like that. Um, I don't really go out a lot. Um, you know, I, I definitely don't go to bars. Um, clubs, I'm a little old for that. Um, and especially now during the pandemic when no one can really go anywhere, um, you know, I haven't really minded it because, <laughs> you know, I, I, I am kind of a homebody unless I'm out traveling or, or something like that. I am, I'm usually at home. Um, and so I'm doing it. I am going and I'm just going to let the chips fall where they may. I've got no expectations, which is a good place to be in. Um, you know, and if uh, the worst that could happen is, you know, we just don't mesh well together. And, you know, we'll, we'll say our goodbyes and that'll be it. Um, you know, and, you know, if, if nothing else, then maybe a, a friendship. But... Um, it's all about putting yourself out there and that extends past relationships into every other aspect of your life you know in business in spirituality in health you just got to put yourself out there you know and and do it and you know it's scary and uncomfortable <laughs> um but you just got to get over it and 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 do it so here we go well, I made it back and I wasn't hacked into little bits. Exciting. <laughs> no, I really wasn't at all worried about this. We um, we met in uh, Freedom Park, which is a beautiful, beautiful park in, um, uh, it's just south of Charlotte. And I had never been there before. So I was really um, glad that he had uh, su suggested that place. Uh, there were runners all over the place. I have never in my life seen so many runners congregated in one area. It looked like the Boston Marathon throughout the entire park. It was crazy. Um, but there were also people doing yoga and meditation. And there was this huge like uh, pond uh, it, right in the middle of the park. It was, and there were fountains. And, you know, we just, we walked around a bit for maybe like 45 minutes or so. We took a couple of paths and a trail and, you know, we, we just talked. We talked for uh, several hours um, at the park and then we had lunch at a French bistro. And I cheated. I ordered the shrimp and crab crepe. Oh, I saw it on the menu. It was the first thing I saw and I'm like, Shabam! that's what I'm having. And what I didn't realize when I ordered it was that it would come with like a lobster cream sauce. It wasn't listed on the menu and I, I just wasn't thinking. And so I get this huge plate of a beautiful, golden crepe with uh, huge, like with big chunks of lobster and crab and tomato. Um, and then right on top is a cream sauce. And I'm like, oh, 
Sorry, Katie, I cheated, my bad. Um, and, uh, you know, it was good. It was, it was, it was really good. Um, I've obviously had better French food uh, in, in, well, <laughs> in France, but um, it was good for, for what it was. Um, but we just had some great conversation and we talked about everything, which is really, really cool. It was really cool just to sit and have a conversation with someone for, you know, a couple of hours. I haven't done that in many, many years. And um, he's Argentinian. Um, he's uh, up here uh, for, uh, he just moved up here a year ago and he's teaching Spanish at um, a high school in the Charlotte area. And, um, you know, he, he went through a company and it's something that he always wanted to do. So he, it was perfect timing for him. So he came up and did it and he's loving it. And I, I love hearing stories of other people who are following, you know, their goals and their dreams to, um, you know, create a life of awesome. And that's exactly what he's doing. Um, and he's, we talked about travel. He has been to 21 countries, which I am super jealous of. You know, he's been all over Europe and of course, South America. Um, he's been to several places in the States and, you know, it was just really good conversation. And, you know, it really goes to show that we need to put ourselves out there. You know, pandemic be damned, you know, get out there, meet new people. Um, of course, be safe and, um, you know, do what you need to do, follow protocol and to keep yourself and everyone else, help, everyone else healthy. But, you know, get out there. And that doesn't just um, uh, include, you know, trying to build new relationships. I mean, I'm talking in, finance, you know, if there seems to be an investment that you are kind of on the fence about, the only way that we can get reward is by taking some risk. You know, make sure it's calculated, make sure uh, you know you're doing your due diligence and things like that, but get out there, make an investment in uh, spirituality, you know, get out there, try new things, see, find out what's right for you in relationships. I mean, that's what today was all about, you know, getting out there and meeting someone new. And um, in health, you know, put yourself out there, get out there, join a gym, join a yoga class, join, you know, something to get active and or go see a therapist, put yourself out there and see a therapist um, for your mental health. I mean, and of course, with your employment, you got to put yourself out there if you're going to find the right path for you. So I highly encourage you to put yourself out there. Sometimes we get burned. Sometimes we do. I mean, that's that's just how life is. But we can't um, we can't dictate all future actions by what has happened in the past. And today was was a great example of that. Um, and I think the coolest thing about today was I literally had no reservations. And so, you know, when we started talking about each other's lives, you know, I told him, you know, exactly what I've been through that, you know, I went through dark times and I told him about the drinking and the jail time and the burnt relationships and the jobs and, um, you know, and it, he didn't run away screaming. <laughs> so, you know, that that's a good thing. But, um, and you know, I just put myself out there and, you know, I gave him who I was and, you know, it turned out awesome. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get together again. Um, one thing <laughs> I did learn, we were talking about, you know, the differences in American and Argentinian culture. And, uh, one of the differences that he's noticed, and I, I kind of brought it up was the way that we treat our pets. Interesting. You know, in America, we're very prone to treat our pets like children. You know, we want to keep them close. We want to keep them safe. We want to keep them in the house so they don't run away. And, you know, and I've heard uh, this from other cultures, but in Ar uh, Argentina, 
Argentinia. Yeah, I don't know why that doesn't roll off the tongue. Argentinia. Um, they don't do that. If you see a dog just kind of wandering off in the street, you can take that dog home. <laughs> you can literally say, I'm adopting you, pick it up and go. And I thought that was the strangest thing and so funny. Um, I've heard that from uh, Indian cultures and things like that, where they just let their dogs roam free all over. And you know, if the dog comes back, then it comes back, no big deal, whatever not here. <laughs> but anyway, my friends, the lesson for today is to put yourself out there, you know, take some risks and, you know, see what happens. I hope you're having a wonderful day, my friends. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe down below and comment. When was the last time you put yourself out there and what were the results? Until next time, my friends, cheers.